to YouTube and let's talk about this video right here. Let's talk about whether Fortnite is violent or not. Okay. Let's move on. It was The Sims, then Minecraft, and Pokemon Go. Actually, if you're my age, first it was Pac-Man, but never mind. Now the latest video game craze is addictive, violent, and kids love it. Should you be worried? Okay, you're right. That is free and addictive. But violent, that is way too far. That is honestly way too far. Like, seriously, there is no blood in Fortnite. Like, I've played Fortnite before. I've never seen blood. Like, that's one thing Fortnite does not have, is blood. It does not have blood. No blood. So, how is it violent? Let's see. Their parents just think it's very good. Oh, their parents just think it's very good. A very good game. So, you're not allowed to play Fortnite. I guess that makes sense. Okay, they got a kind of good idea what Fortnite is. Yeah, I say that's kind of a good idea. The game's rated T for teen. So, if kids are young as nine is playing it, yeah, parents should watch out for that waiting system. Because a 13-year-old should be playing Fortnite, not a 9-year-old. Okay, that is correct. It is a strategic thinking game. So really... That's a good thing for kids. That's actually a good thing for kids. Like, this kid knows what he's talking about. This kid really does know what he's talking about. It is a strategic thinking game. Thus, it is actually somewhat good for kids because it is a strategic thinking game. And that's what kids need to know. Strategics. To the break, got a current affair kids who can't take their eyes off their screens. they can concerned parents and advice from the experts. Fortnite is the latest video game kids can't get enough of, but when does a bit of harmless fun turn into an unhealthy obsession? The violent video game Fortnite is designed for teenagers, but is being widely played by younger children like Michael, who is 11. You may have to make sure no one tells you. That kid's right, alright? It's not brutal. But just to question the fact that that's not brutal is just... It's just stupid. Yeah, they just fall down. That, that's it. They just fall down, die, and get rid of all their loot. And then you can take all their loot. And then that's basically it. Alright, no blood, no nothing. It's just a simple game, Fortnite. And it's not violent at all. Well, he keeps dying, that's why he's frustrated. You know, if you keep dying in Fortnite, you're gonna get frustrated. You're gonna get frustrated for sure. You're so gonna get frustrated. I don't know what that was. But yeah, you're gonna get frustrated. You're gonna get frustrated if you keep playing Fortnite. You know? Shame Spoon is a gaming expert. He says the game has 
shock parents because of its light rating. Violent video games are usually rated in a 15 plus. These particular games don't have blood effects, for example. They have to give it that full. Parents are, are angry about the rating system. I say the rating system is actually fair on this part. T for Teen is actually a very fair rating system for this game. That's what I gotta say about the rating system. It's fair. Alright, it's a fair rating system. T for Teen is like the fairest you can get for Fortnite. Alright, it's a fair rating system. It is. It really is fair. It's nice. It's absolutely fair and where it's a guideline rather than an actual legal there's no chat in this game in the way that some other things do so my parents are worried about online games it doesn't have those kinds of chat tools as well it can actually show high ratings already let me talk about that whole stranger danger thing if your kids understand not to meet someone they know online, then really, what's the big deal? All right, they they have no way of meeting them. So really, what what's the big deal? It, it really talking in Fortnite is more of a strategy sort of thing rather than a sort of talking to strangers sort of thing. All right, I understand that a lot of parents will get upset about their kids talking to people online but parents need to understand the difference between talking to someone online and actually meeting them they need to understand that sort of difference sort of like playing a game you know it's just a game where you can talk to other people online all right Yes, it does involve talking to people online. And really, parents will get upset about that. But parents need to understand the line of talking to someone online and actually a whole stranger danger thing. Okay, if you're not meeting them, then it's not really dangerous. I love this part right here. Cool girl. Yeah, I love how they do this part right here. Like, they just want to do this part just to give some theme to Fortnite. Okay, well, that's the end of that video. 
So anyway, that was how Fortnite is our is affecting our kids. Um, I don't see it affecting our kids at all. Really, there are way more violent video games they could be playing. Fortnite has no blood at all. So really, I would say that Fortnite is not at all violent. I would say that the T for teen rating is a very fair rating for Fortnite. And really, there are way more violent video games that your kids could be playing besides Fortnite. So take that in consideration if you really think Fortnite is really that violent. All right. Take that into consideration because really Fortnite is not at all violent. And that's really all I got to say. Anyway, this is fair use since I am using this video for criticism purposes and educational purposes. So it really does fall under fair use. All right.